Have you ever had that experience in life where it feels like everything is going wrong all at once? You know, it's like when you lose your job and then a huge unexpected bill comes in and then your dog gets sick and then your mom ends up in the hospital. And to top it off, put the icing on the cake, you stub your toe on the way out the door. I can't be the only one that's experienced something like that, right? Where it feels like everything is happening all at once and it feels like too much. As I've said before, life can be hard sometimes, but my entire goal with everything that I'm sharing here is really to share the tools that I have learned in hopes of making your life easier. In this video, I am sharing my five steps, really my process for how I move through times like this to make life easier. So step number one, it's gonna sound really simple and probably pretty cliche, but I promise you it's one of the most important things that you can do. And again, I learned this from experience. It is learning to sit with your feelings, not stuff them down. Don't pretend that they don't exist. Really sit with them and feel it all. Get angry, be upset, be disappointed. Whatever it is that comes up for you, punch pillows. The only rule is you can't hurt anyone or anything, but feel everything that you need to because that is really such a powerful tool to start the basis for moving through things. Because I know in my own life, back when I was really sick, I stuffed my feelings down a lot and I pretended that I was fine very often, if not all the time. Very few people in my life really understood the depths of what I was experiencing and how hard it was because on the outside, I pretended that everything was okay. But the problem is that creates a lot of toxic positivity and that doesn't actually get you anywhere. Back then, I thought I was serving my highest good. I thought I was doing something great. I thought I was helping other people by pretending everything was okay. But the reality is, it just gave me so much stuck energy, which is what we talked about in the previous video, and that only kept me sick and really only made me sicker. Step number two is really all about bringing awareness to what you are thinking. And let me tell you, awareness, in my opinion, is the first step to creating any kind of change in your life. Because if you're not aware of what's actually going inside your head, the thoughts that you're thinking, the words that you're speaking, it is almost impossible to make a change because you're not sitting with the reality of where you actually are. So I really like just sitting with my feelings as uncomfortable as it might be, I promise you it gets easier with time, and just becoming aware of my thoughts. What's going on inside my own head? Am I making it worse than it needs to be? That used to be something that I did all the time, where again, it felt like everything in my life was going wrong. But when I really took a step back and I was like, oh, but not everything was going wrong, right? There were some things that were going right, but our brain loves to focus on the negative because the reality is our brains are not designed to keep us happy. They're designed to keep us safe. And by keeping us safe, they keep us stuck exactly where we are. So that's why negative thoughts are so common. So if you're experiencing that, trust me, you are not the only one. And that brings me to step number three, which is all about recognizing that your life is worth so much more than it just totally sucking. And look, it kind of goes back to step number one. You gotta sit with your feelings as long as you need to, and that's gonna be different for everyone. It's gonna be different depending on your situation, what's happening at the time. But eventually, at some point, you have to recognize that you are worthy of more than just a crappy life where you feel terrible all the time. And look, I get it. I know how hard it is. Even when I was at my lowest of my lows, when my health was in the worst position it ever had been, my husband and I were in a huge financial hole. And to top it all off, we lost so many friends during this period of our lives because I was going through something, you know, after my last surgery that so many people 
couldn't show up for. They didn't know how to show up for. And so people disappeared from my life. It was a really, really dark time. My husband was going through his own battles. It felt like everything was against us. And yet at some point, I had to decide that I was gonna pick myself back up. I was gonna be done having a pity party for myself, which is really important. That's why we talked about step number one. But I had to decide I was gonna be done with that. And I had to choose to be a warrior instead of a victim. And this, really step number three, is where everything begins to shift in your favor. So step number four, something I love to remind myself of that is so helpful when it feels like things aren't working out. You know, I had this idea in mind of what I wanted for my life and it's not coming together and maybe it's going the complete opposite direction. And it is this or better, meaning, it is this, what you have in mind, or it is better. And I believe that to always be the case. And I'm gonna tell you a little story of when I first kind of came across this message. So my husband and I were in the process of deciding we wanted to move from California to Florida. And we decided to fly to Florida to look at this very particular house that was being built. It was, at the time, we thought everything we wanted. It was brand new, it was in the midst of construction. It was the first thing we did when we came to Naples, Florida is we went to that house. There weren't any construction workers there, so we were able to walk around and tour it. And as soon as I walked through that house, I heard, this is not your home, in my mind. And I've heard that voice for long enough that I know when it's true or not. And I knew deep down it was the truth. And what ended up happening, to make a long story short, is that day when we landed, that house that we were walking through went to contract. So we weren't even able to put an offer on it. And I had a little pity party for myself. Obviously, it's a house, so it's very different from something that's, say, health-related. But I had a little pity party for myself, and then I decided, if it's not this, it's going to be better. And my friend Jacqueline shortened it to this or better, which I love to use all the time. So it's a great reminder when something isn't working out, when it feels like you have your mind dead set on this particular goal, this particular job that you want, anything like that, and it's not working out, remind yourself, it's this or it's better. And for the final step, step number five, this one is all about creating an actionable plan. Because what I've really learned is when everything lives inside of our head and we're not writing it out, we're not talking out or doing anything, it feels so much more overwhelming when it's just up here. So I'm such a huge believer, just if you think back to my journaling video, of writing everything out. So this is when you create a step-by-step -step actionable plan. And it doesn't mean that has to be in some grand particular order or anything like that. But anything you can think of that would be a step in the right direction that could help you out of the situation that you're currently in, write it down. And then next, what I really want you to do is just focus on one step at a time. I hear it all the time from people. And this used to be how I felt too, where you know you wanna change, but you feel paralyzed and you don't know where to start, that's where you start. You write it all out, you get it out of your head where it lives on paper, things are always gonna make much more sense when they're on paper, and then you take action just one step at a time, and it doesn't matter how small it is, because even the seemingly small, tiny changes that you make lead to big changes over time. And to wrap this all up for you and remind you of these steps, so step number one is sitting with your feelings as long as you need to allow it all to come up and just feel it all. Step number two is bringing awareness to what you're thinking because remember, if you wanna create any change in your life, awareness is key. Step number three is recognizing that your life is worth so much more than it totally sucking. So it's deciding when you're gonna be done and when you're gonna pick yourself back up again. And number four is it is always, always this or better. And number five is to create an actionable plan and take it one step at a time. And now I would love to know, because I would really love to cheer you on, which one of these steps resonated the most with you. Let me know in the comments below. And remember, you have totally got this.